This video is an introduction into the use of Astro Image J to create a light curve given a set of FITS images. If you are working through your astrophysics undergrad, it is very likely that you will come across this program. You're going to need a decent amount of FITS files for this. Normally these have been automatically collected for you and contain all of the required metadata to do a proper graph. To import these images, you go to File, Import, and Import Image Sequence. You only have to click on one of the images for it to upload all of them. Make sure to click Use Virtual Stack as it could easily crash your computer otherwise. Once you hit OK, you should see your image set pop up on Astro Image J. Um, now we're just going to click on any star on the image and then go up to Analyze and Plot Seeing Profile. This will create a profile of the star and a custom aperture for us to use for gathering the data from our image set. After we click on Save Aperture, then we click on the Multiple Aperture button. Through this menu, we are going to prepare to build our light curve. We click on Aperture Settings, and we're going to adjust some values here. We're going to set CCD Gain to 1.5, CCD Read Noise to 9.5, and the Linearity Warning to 55,000. After this, we go back to the previous screen, and there are just two more checkboxes we have to click. Um, we're going to check the Use RA slash Deck box, and uncheck the Halt Processing box. After that, we are ready to place our apertures. Your target star should be the star centered in your image. If you are unsure, or if there are many stars close to the center, just select them all as target and reference. You will be able to figure out which star is your desired target star based on the data you receive, so you can repeat this step if required. Make sure to select reference stars that are relatively close to your target, and to make sure that they aren't oversaturated in the image. Once you have a suitable number of stars, all you have to do after this is hit enter. A bunch of windows will pop up, and Astro Image J will start plotting your data. If you did this right, you should notice your light curve straight away. If not, there might be an issue either with the, with the stars you chose or with your data. For example, my group's first data set had a heavy cloud pass right overhead during the image gathering process. The curve was looking good until a third of the way in, when suddenly all of the data points went completely haywire. It will be very easy to tell if there was a problem in gathering data. After that, you should get a light curve. Following this, you get a bunch of windows to adjust the graph you created. You can adjust the title and subtitle, and add another star's data points for reference if desired. On the right side of the multi-plot Y data window, note the scale and shift values for each data set. You can adjust if needed. It is here that you can also create your trend line for your light curve, which you can adjust in the window that is created specifically for it. You can save your measurements to an Excel file via the Measurements window in Astro Image J. You can also save your graph directly using the Save button in the Graph window. When graphing in Excel, you also need to use one of the Julian date times and the relative flux of your target star, as shown. And that is pretty much all you need to know. I hope it was helpful.